Right guys, another blade production introduction. Uh, some basic info about your old version 1 system on your D5 uh, Centurion gate motors. Let's start by a simple little example. Um, once again with the fuses. This time I decided to do it on a paper so I can actually write down what I do so you guys can actually acknowledge um, by the way I do it. So. This is your motor fuse, um, obviously everybody wants to know what amperage that is, that's a 16 amp slow blow fuse, blow, right, that is your motor fuse, so if your relays, these two little guys here, if they say click, 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 you know that your fuse is blown 90% of the time, right, let's move over to our next fuse. This little guy here is a 3 amp. Let me just see and make sure this whole thing is in the picture here. That's a 3 amp slow blow. Okay. And that is to power your whole PC board. So everything that's happening on your PC board gets its power from that little fuse there. Next fuse, that's also a 3 amp slow blow. Alright. That is for your light output. So those two terminals there is your light output that is for your pillar lights and your courtesy lights and all the lights that you want to control from your motor uh, that is a 220 volt input let's write that down 220 volt input um, all right most of the time this is not such a big concern as there's little and very few gate motors with pillar lights that runs off the pc board most of them runs off a normal day night switch um, so you can use this fuse to replace your PC board fuse if needed and you don't have fuses with you please don't try and use this fuse on your 16 amp because there's a huge difference between 16 and 3 amps right so that's a basic introduction this little relay is wired with this little fuse and that's all wired to this light output that's your battery positive, battery negative, let's write that down. That is your motor. If you change this wires around, you're basically going to get polarity changing. And your motor is either going to move left or right, open or close, close or open, which way ever. Alright, this little connector block here, that's your AC input. So that's your battery, and that's your AC input. So that comes from your transformer to charge your battery. All right, what else is here for the DIY enthusiast to know? Uh, that's your 12 volts, so anything that you want to power, you can power it onto that first terminal. Uh, let's see, another basic here, that's your trigger, TRG. So if you trigger that with any negative, that's two common negatives. If you trigger that with any two negatives, you're going to get a positive trigger. That's the same thing that your test button does. So you can either trigger it between a negative and a common, negative to trigger or your test button right uh, that's your set jumper that's the little jumper that you'll use to program your motor with that we'll do in the next session of the video that's your origin input that's four little pins for your origin that we'll discuss in the next uh, video of the introduction that's your l1 and your l2 light that's your status light uh, that's your charging light if your ac plug is in that little guy will be green and this little status light will give you all acknowledgement whether your gate is open, closed, battery low, whatever the case might be. And L1 and L2 is just for your origin and your magnet. That we'll discuss in the next video as well. Alright, that's a basic introduction to your D5 version 1.2 PC board. And in the next session, we'll discuss this whole thing once again. Just with a little bit more programming. Another one from Blade Productions. Guys. Do enjoy and see you later.